Now, Newcastle supporters have been donning homemade headdresses recently in celebration of their new Saudi owners. Uh, but do you feel culturally offended by this? Personally, I, I don't. But England's uh, football's equality and inclusion organisation, Kick It Out, are planning talks with Newcastle to discourage some fans from dressing up as Arabs. Hundreds of supporters wore tea towels on their heads for the Public Investment Fund's first game in charge against Tottenham in St James's Park on Sunday, creating a spectacle that dismayed Kick It Out and influential FA figures. The group is likely to offer education workshops in Newcastle. I'm sure they'll go down well uh, to explain how wearing tea towels in an attempt to impersonate Arabs could be considered racist, offensive or culturally ex ex uh, offensive. Don't need some. Don't what, get me started wrong? on this one. What's please? wrong with this? Why is everyone coming after the Newcastle fans constantly? It's just snobbery. It, it, it is ridiculous, and the, the, the fact that they are, they're going to offer education workshops to Newcastle. Well, good luck with that one. Um, <laughs> It's, look, racism is about. I have hate. a feeling they'll tell them to bog off. Right? Oh, I think they might in a polite, <laughs> polite way. Obviously, it's slightly um, less polite look, than I mean, that. The I is, imagine. The thing is, Dan, racism is about hate. This isn't about hate. No, it's about celebration. This, paying tribute to your new owners, whether I agree with that or not, is another matter. But, I mean, paying tribute... But that's tribute not the new... fans' issue, is it? And, and also, it's, it's a bit tongue-in-cheek, Becca Hudson, oh. right? I mean, Are you offended by this? Um, I don't like it. I think it's a, it makes me feel quite uncomfortable. I'm not sure that sending Why? I'm not sure sending people to a to a workshop is the way to combat it. But I think you know we're very very aware of the of the racism that happens in in football. And I'm pleased that the campaign that's supposed to be kicking out that kind of hateful mockery of other races and ethnicities has is kind this of condemning. This is him from proper racism, Becca. But it's all, but it all I mean, but, it, but 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 we but we if we start creating kind of permissiveness for some racism, you end up. It's not it racism, getting, though. But it's, mock, it's just mocking another no, culture. No, no, no. It's, it's, how, it's how, are they, how are they mocking it? They put a tea towel on their heads. I live in Newcastle upon Tyne. I was briefly brainwashed into supporting. <laughs> Let me finish, <laughs> as they used to say in Northern Ireland, uh, the north of Ireland, depending where you come from. Uh, but I've gone back to supporting Leicester City again because that's where my heart lies. The reality is, these people are having fun. East down, Becca. These people aren't making a big political statement. They might be making a statement about the fact that they're just about to be relegated unless something happens, but suddenly, lo and behold, £300 million comes into the club or something like that. Yeah, I'm not, so saying, ban about racism. I'm not saying ban them from the football matches or send them to prison. I'm just saying, you know, it's not that funny. It's a tea towel. It's a little bit derogatory a about tribute. a culture. I don't yeah. think they're paying tribute, they're are they? They're saying thank you no, for £300 not saying thank million. You. Pounds. They're, they're dressing up and kind of mocking the national costume and tanking up oh, on booze. Oh, how is this offensive to Saudi Arabia? Because it's a tea towel. They put the, because, it's, because it's a load oh, of drunk so They're meant to go guys. all the way to, to Riyadh to buy the authentic headgear. But why dress, up, why dress up at all? Why not just because say thank you? Pay tribute to their new yeah. owners. But, yes, But exactly. I say, well, I'm so, so grateful for, for Dan Wooden having me on his panel. I don't come in dressed as Dan Wooden every day. I'd I take it as a great actually. compliment. Actually. <laughs> I, do, I do have a suit that colour, Becca. <laughs> if Dan gave you £300 million, you might wear a suit just like that. <laughs> a terrible I'd suit. Wear like that. I would. <laughs>